Hello music producers and in this exciting video guys I'm going to be sharing with you how to convert an audio clip into a MIDI pattern within FL Studios. Alright so as you can see we have two audios going on because I'm going to be showing you two different processes on how to go about this. Um, the first would just be like a melody while the second one is like a chord. There are two different approaches we use to get the result. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to accomplish that these two different processes in FL Studios. So let's go ahead and have a listen to what we have going on right here. So as you can see, the first one we have this. All right. So first things first, if we want to convert this to uh to MIDI, we go over to here, we we'll right click on it, and then we go to Edit Sample. All right. Then right here we have this, and it opens in Edison, which is um FL Studios um, audio editor. So what you want to do from here is just very simple. You go over to this wrench tool. First things first, we're going to convert either the right, right or left channel to mono, right? Anyone. Then we go over back to this wrench tool, and then we go to convert to score and dump to piano roll. Once we do this, once we do this and we go over to the piano roll, you can see that we have this going on right here. And there will still be some cleaning up that we've got to do. But from, from here, what you can just do is control A, everything, control X to cut it. And then you can go ahead and create a new instrument, whatever you want to use. Let me just go over and use FL keys. All right. Then over here in your piano roll, choose FL keys. And then go ahead and paste it right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove all those extra notes that are kind of messing around. All right, guys, and as you can see, we have this going on, which is actually very, 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 very great. The reason it becomes messy sometimes is because of the way Edison interprets the sound. Like, it listens to it, and as you can see, there are some kind of reverb in this um, track right here. So those reverb sounds, it's kind of trying to imitate those reverb sounds as their own stand and their own notes, but sometimes it doesn't get that right. Some audios just sound better than others when Edison is converting the clip from an audio file to a MIDI. The complexity and technicality of the audio depends on how close Edison gets to getting the MIDI pattern right. And then for the chords, which the approach is that kind of, um, it's a bit different. For the chords, we have this. All right, so first of all, what we want to do is you want to double click on this, then let's assign this to a mixer track, mixer track one, and then you also want to pitch this up by 24. All right, so just set it to 24 and set it to the highest right here. So we have this. Okay, so then you go over to the mixer, and then we're gonna apply wave candy on this, wave candy right here. And um, you set this to spectrum. Set this to 4960 bands, the max resolution, and then let's increase this because this is where we're going to see what we have going on. All right, and then you also want to scale this up until you start seeing the keyboard right here. As you can see, the keyboard okay. So you might not want to go over to the end, you can just want to just go put it right here. All right, then you play. Right, then you can press the middle mouse button to pause this right here so that it stays it's frozen okay or you can also freeze it right here 
okay you can also freeze it right here all right so as you can see if i'm to hover my mouse over this key you can see at the bottom right around down here you can see at the bottom right down here you can see some key information so what you want to do is you just want to copy and paste this into the piano roll you have to do this one by one because there's no way you can actually copy this so as you can see first of all we have um c sharp you can see first c sharp right here then we have an e then we have a, a g sharp all right then we also have a, a c sharp again at the end the higher octave so you can just go ahead and input all these things into the piano roll and then when you do that you see we have this you might not need to go and necessarily do all this extra notes up here the just the bottom four or bottom five major will be will be will be strong enough to to carry that effect all right so you can just go ahead and input all that and then come back and paste it right here in your piano roll all right so this is what we have going on And that is just amazing. And then lastly, this is what we have after everything. All right, guys, that'll be it for this video. Thanks, guys, for sticking out with me to the end. Please, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you aren't subscribed to this channel, please just subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so that you get notified when I upload new videos just like this for you guys. Till we meet again, guys, stay safe and see you in the next one.